his nest has really changed since the last video taken. On the right side here, we see this paper sheet thing that they've built. That used to be the place with the regular entrance, but uh, they papered it over, and I'm assuming the entrance is somewhere directly underneath, and it's also more active than it was before, too. There's more workers present. There's one on the bottom of the envelope adding paper to it right now. Zoom in slowly so you can see it. There's a worker right there in the envelope. But there's that sheet of paper right there. This is a very, very cool nest. I've always wanted to be able to get a few feet of a yellow jacket's nest and I'm really privileged to be able to do so here. It's nice this thing's not near in any houses or anything like that. It's never near a house, so don't have to worry about nobody being stepping on or mowing it near it or anything like that. So they're just sitting here living peacefully inside this large empty top bar beehive. There's a guard right there walking over the surface. Here's a wide angle right here. Looks like I could take any of the nests again, except this time a wide angle here. Real slow, so I don't upset them. There it is underneath. How often does anybody get to look straight underneath a yellow jacket nest like this? And I'm doing this with a bee suit too, because if they get mad and decide to sting me, my gloves are protecting me. Sooner or later this nest gets so big I won't be able to do this no more, so. But since I'm open here all the time opening this thing up and look at them, they're used to me. Very slow movements so don't upset them, because they're watching me right now. Sorry about that shakiness here. It was a lot more active than it was the last time. There's a good chance they probably got a second comb start in here already. Well, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to preview and see how it turns out.